So I just got accepted to LinkedIn's Creator Accelerator program. I actually found out a month ago and it's been really, really hard to keep it in. Uh, we weren't allowed to share this information with anyone until LinkedIn made the formal announcement on November 30th, uh, which was last week. And I actually made the announcement on most of my social media channels except YouTube, hence why I'm making the video now on YouTube. Uh, I've actually been a little sick, so I was hoping to not appear on video uh, until I recovered from my illness. I caught hand, foot, mouth disease on a hiking trip early November, so I'm kind of like blistering and haven't cut my hair and stuff like that. But anyways, I digress. So LinkedIn's program is a 10 week program for those of you who don't know, aimed at providing white glove resources to creators to execute on their vision of building some community. My vision, uh, which many of my YouTube folks would probably know is related to pharmacy informatics. I've uh, since expanded on that and my goal right now is to essentially create a pipeline in which future biomedical informaticians will have the resources to be good bioinformaticians. And for LinkedIn, the idea is to build a community around that so we can engage in discussions, share resources, and talk about it more and share this awesome field that we're in. So I actually wrote a post on LinkedIn when I formally announced it last week, and I want to read that and share it with the YouTube community. So here it goes. I never once heard of pharmacy informatics until my fourth year in pharmacy school when a resident told me about it. As a technology enthusiast, I began scouring the internet for anything I could find about the specialty that could bridge the gap between clinical and technical stakeholders, but nothing. What also piqued my interest in informatics was the potential of how technology could really change the paradigms when it came to tackling antimicrobial resistance, especially with the CDC's antimicrobial use and resistance program. Despite the lack of information and resources, I consumed every article, book, or video I could find that had the word informatics in it. Eventually, I ended up completing my PGY2 in pharmacy informatics at the University of Utah Health. Began my career as an informatics pharmacist and started my journey in spreading the word about this awesome career field to others. Unfortunately, my efforts largely failed. Despite the number of organizations I joined, the committees I volunteered in, or the outreach I attempted, they never seemed to pick up any traction. That is, until I began creating content on YouTube. What I realized was that the new generations didn't consume their educational content through traditional forms of media, like journal articles or conferences, but rather through the internet and social media. I've always believed that every decision I make in life should help get me closer to my lifetime goal. And that is why today I'm excited to announce that I'll be part of LinkedIn's inaugural class in their Creator Accelerator program. I firmly believe that social media platforms can change the way education and professional development are disseminated and think it has the potential to prime the next generation of biomedical informaticians, especially pharmacy and public health informa informatics. I can't think of a better place to do this than LinkedIn. I'm honored and humbled for this opportunity and look forward to working with the LinkedIn team and networking with other inspirational creators in building our communities. So I spent the last few days connecting with the other creators that were accepted into the program. There were a total of 100 of us that were accepted into this inaugural cohort. And LinkedIn has definitely future plans for uh, bringing on more cohorts in the future with plans to even expand it internationally, uh, which is something I'm probably gonna talk about in a future video of you know, what my application materials look like, what the process was like, and um, <laughs> part of it is how I got accepted because I am very humbled that I was selected. So it sounds like there is a couple thousand applicants that applied. And of course, I, I mentioned it earlier, there were a hundred of us that got accepted. Um, yeah, I have no idea how I got accepted. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna share what I think uh, got me in, which is actually 
part of why I wanted to make this video as well is largely due to the community that I've built on YouTube. Uh, not saying that it's a large community by any means, but it is a, a community and it's one that I wanted to make this video and just show my appreciation for because this opportunity, I'm fairly certain, came largely because of YouTube and the community that I've built on YouTube and largely because of each and every one of you guys. Um, I am just very appreciative of everyone that has supported the channel, followed me for the last I don't know, couple of years and just kept me motivated. Um, you know, so, some of you guys see some of the, the videos where, um, you know, I go through some more difficult times and I get words of encouragement from all of you guys. So I am really appreciative and thankful that all of you are still supporting and and uh, yeah, I just thank you guys for that because now I have this opportunity to do something larger with more resources. So thank you guys. Um, be on the lookout where I'm gonna be creating more content uh, for LinkedIn, but I'll definitely be moving some of the content over to YouTube. Uh, it'll probably be just like a delay of like a week or two weeks before I can move things over from LinkedIn to YouTube, but um, be on the lookout. I'll be creating more content. The program is 10 weeks. I believe it's gonna start in January. We have an orientation coming in uh, next week. Very excited about um, every one of those creators that are part of the program are uh, absolutely amazing. Uh, I've been talking to a couple, a couple of them and it's just a blessing. And a blessing that wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you guys. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for your support. Um, hoping to have some cool content. I have a lot of ideas for what I'm gonna create and how I'm gonna make this idea come to life. So I think that kind of wraps up this video. Uh, thank you guys again for supporting. I hope you guys continue to follow me along on this journey. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.